Hello, we are back with more Assassin's Creed 3. I did a little bit, a few things on offline, and it turns out I turned the power on to the machine in this, this area. So we are going to check out what it opened. I think it was, yeah, it's over here. It seemed to have opened this door over here. Let's go check out what's behind door number one. Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. It was worse than trying to control everybody in society? I don't think they know what worse means. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. Got it. I guess we keep going up the stairs. Our first instinct was to travel back change the past but we could not find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we watched to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. 
I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Sure we do. Well, that's a hole. Going through that one. Let's try, I guess this way? I don't know. It's not been here. Mm. Okay, I can't go that way. All right, so, uh, come on. Whatever you're going to do, do. Looks like I'm going down. I could have just gone down the stairs for this. That looks lit up. Okay. Um, wow, the walls are disappearing in here. This way. Okay, we're back out of, oh, there she is. We're not ready for here yet? Yes, I wasn't ready to come here yet. Can't interact. Oh, it looks like I need another cube from the uh, Animus. Okay. Now what's over here? Okay, that's how I got here. I guess out we go. What? Where are you going? Go back up the stairs. All right. So I guess it's a back out we go. Whoa. Um, I missed the uh, jump. There's the jump. That's not what, well, it worked. Uh, he made it, whatever works. Oh boy. So we got this powered up. So let's go talk to this dude over here now. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives now, i kind of liked my ordinary one you can't escape who you are desmond so i've noticed look it's silly for us to go back and forth like this i admit i did a shitty job raising you i apologize i'm sorry but it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place you're my son i love you 
I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. All right, whatever. Ah, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. Oh, great. He wants to experiment beyond this. Uh, so this is now lit up. That's nice. You can see a little bit more past the city walls. All right. Well, I guess we go back to the Animus and... See what we can learn, I guess. What does she have to say? Anything exciting? I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here? There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's, like, literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? That's me. But I mean, she'd be at least... 80,000 years old? Powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. He's 70,000 years in one building like this. Sheesh. I get tired after a couple days of being at home. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects phrase. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. Only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Kana, spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? Xingbao. Rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Anandogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy. They would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. You have a name. You know who is responsible. He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft. Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree.
New weapons in the shop available. We even have money? Oh. All right, where do we gotta go? We gotta go away again, don't we? Pig leg mission. Board. Homestead mission. Homestead mission and mini mission. And then that's the frontier again. Uh, the boat will also take me to Boston. Let's see what let's see what the homestead mission is first. Um crafting. There's nothing I can craft. Okay. Oh, here we go. Make one. Okay, make two. Uh, do I have anything to trade? Do, 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 do. I looked at my stockpile. All right, we made a lot of money. Very little. What is this? Oh, I can purchase materials. I don't want to do that. All right, that's fine. We did that. What do you got for me? Connor, it has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. All right, well, that was a very vague, as vague conversations are. All right, uh... New ship upgrade, extract cannon. Okay. Go down and see our boat. Probably would have been faster if I'd gotten a horse. But we didn't. Was not expecting a gun. Especially since it's got like no ammo. Okay, um. Crap, I only got two arrows. Oh, I need to see somebody about that. All right, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep, I sure am. Come on, fellow. I'm still going the wrong damn way. Oh, we. Oh, I hate it when he refuses to even try to jump. Are you what are you doing? Really, am I now running at least the right way? Well, yeah, if I find the path, I can just follow it.
Here we go, found the path. Not lost anymore. Ooh, what? Another house. All right, quit trying to look around. Not doing me any good. Do what do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? Let's see if we got anything. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. That's worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I will be back for the rest. All right, so we got to find more of the peg leg stuff. Wonderful. Well, we can get the extra cannon. And that's it. All right, so we probably need to go to Boston. Ghost War Act One. Dread of night, passing the way. Ooh, interesting. The, ruin, the ruins, all right. Well, let's not get into that yet. Let's, how about we just go with, let's see what the chase is. What is the chase? Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. Okay, looks like we found a boat. Go around and get them.
Oh no, I'm gonna hit the rocks. Got it. Got got that. Oh no, more. Go this way. Come on, get there, get there. That was awfully close to our own boat. Mines, Captain. Mines, Captain. Destroy them or use them to our advantage. Either way, avoid the blasted things. To our advantage, how? Shoot the blooming things with our swivels when our targets get too close. Aye, aye. This is awfully hard sailing. Where are you going? Go the other that way. It's not going to work. Oh, ran aground, ran aground, ran aground. How did the merchant ship get through all those? She should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. I don't know where I'm going. Hold on. Uh, okay, to the right.
Oh no. Oh man, I'm surprised we survived. That fort won't be troubling anybody no more. Bloody English have gone too far this time. That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind. Hey, Naughty, how's it going? But what they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I got the fort. I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. I got nothing. <laughs> 50 of 150. Oh, I did awful. I didn't limit the damage. I didn't use the mines. Oh. Complete objectives before. F wow, I did awful. Well, I am no Navy man, that's for sure. Oh, hello, Raiders. I'm a, I'm a multi gamer, and I'm usually awful, as this one proved. All right, we're gonna go to Boston. I'm currently playing the Assassin's Creed series, trying to play. Uh, well, trying to pretty much do all of them. I played Valhalla and now I wanted to play the rest. Finished Revelations and now I'm on number three. Let's fast travel to Boston because we need to get Fort Wilcott. Okay, let's do that. Zoom all the way up, fast travel to all cities on the map. Yeah, I haven't done that. Let's see. There we go. That's the main mission. So let's let's go to the main mission. Where are we at? We're up here. Any? Nope. No empty data points to get there. So let's just uh, or excuse me, sync points of this game. I don't think I'm that wanted. So I shouldn't have to worry about running across people. Oh, knowing me, that won't end long. I love this. The, the boats in the dry dock being built. These things are huge. Look at the size of these things. Jeez. Uh, let's see. I could stir up trouble. That would be fun. Let's see what the main mission is, though, before I start stirring up too much trouble. 
Oh wait, uh, where's the shop at? Where is a shop at? Okay, I'm coming up on a peddler. No! Get back up there. Uh, do you got anything? Oh, you just got consumables. Oh, good. Arrows. Yes. Bye. Yes. Confirm. I need arrows. And what else you got? Rope darts, poison darts, snares. Trap mine baits. No guns for my. Oh, that's what this is. Ammo for the gun. And the rope darts. Snares, trap mines, bait. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Uh, I don't think I have anything to sell, do I? Oh, I do. Oh, sweet. Apparently, I've been hunting. No, I, 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 we're done. Thank you. Not what I meant to do. Run in this game is also the climb and jump features. Oh, uh, they ain't leaving. Not what I meant. Right there. Now, yeah, yeah, there you go. Sanctions demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act. There's Sam Adams. More than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but sure. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Uh, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than sorry. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. You must compromise, Connor, however painful that may be. Try and... Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call tax men say! If the gums in Parliament want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond, take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! Ah, bollocks. We're coming in. Ah! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination.
Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you an ale, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. If everyone could just be free, that would be nice. But while we're here, let's take everything they got. And again, these guys are paid nothing. 13? Sheesh. Hey, kitty. Not the cat. Thank you. All right. How far we got to go? All right. Oh. There he is. All the way over there. Okay. Not too far. Lots of red between here and there. Over the fence, down we go, through the alley. Ooh, uh, let's not run up on them. Looks like over the building is not a great option, but it is gonna work. Maybe, lost my gun. What a shame. What is that? Uh, at least it uh, didn't hurt. I love it. He, he jumps off the roof, but won't jump off the, uh, the chest. A lot of guys here. Well, around the block, we over the block we go. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go up and over. Eh, not a problem. Connor, I get to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. Tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. The stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. 
All right, since it did a save here, I'm going to stop here for the moment. I will pick this up uh, either tomorrow or uh, later today after we, uh, well, there's a movie going to be going on that some friends are going to be watching. So I'm going to be doing that. So let's see, is there anybody out there I can raid? Probably not knowing my luck. Hold on, let me check. 